At Consumer Reports Labs, we run dryers through a series of challenges. If you're also shopping for a washer, you may want to check our washing machine buying guide first. Consumer Reports tests show the more water the washer extracts during a spin cycle, the less work your dryer has to do. So getting a good washing machine is more important than a top dryer. Members to our website can access our specific brand recommendations and exclusive product ratings. First, make sure you have enough space. Most dryers are 27 inches wide, but manufacturers are offering larger capacity models measuring 2 to 3 inches more. There are also compact models coming in at about 24 inches wide or less. Measure the height, width, and depth of the area where you want to put your dryer. And don't forget about the washer. Then use these guidelines. For width, add an extra inch for space between the washer and dryer, and an inch on either side of the appliance. Add at least six inches of depth space for door clearance, dryer vents, and hookups. If your laundry center is near a bedroom or other living area, consider noise level carefully. Our tests find you can put dryers that score very good or excellent in our noise tests near a bedroom. But models that score lower than that can make annoying sounds that can last the entire cycle. You can choose between a gas or an electric dryer. Electric dryers make up the majority of dryers sold in the U.S but Consumer Reports provides ratings for both gas and electric dryers. Electric models are less expensive, but they cost slightly more to operate. You'll need a 240 volt outlet to run an electric dryer. On the other hand, gas dryers are priced about $50 to $150 more than comparable electric dryers, but cost less to operate over time. You can run a gas dryer on a typical 120 volt hookup, but of course, you'll need a gas hookup. Most of the energy consumed during a load of wash is used by the dryer. You'll see dryers that are ENERGY STAR rated. Many can be used in regular or energy saving mode. But know this, in energy saving mode they take much longer to dry. And if you're looking for big savings on your energy bills, you may be disappointed. ENERGY STAR rated dryers will save you roughly $20 a year on an electric dryer and about half that if you opt for a gas model. Plus, prices for ENERGY STAR rated dryers start higher. There are a few different types of dryers, full-size, compact, and combination washer-dryer units. Capacity, basically how much laundry you need to dry per load, should play a big role in the type you buy. If you've got the space, full-size dryers are a more practical choice. Besides holding more laundry, our performance tests find they generally dry clothes faster than compact models. Some also come with front-mounted controls, so you can stack them if space is an issue. However, if you're on the shorter side, you may have to stretch to reach the controls or empty the dryer drum. Most full-size dryers provide about 6 to 9 cubic feet of space, which means they can accommodate 14 to 28 pounds of laundry. To keep up with growing washing machine capacities, some dryers are coming with more than 9 cubic feet of space. That's clearly helpful for big households with lots of laundry, but the extra room also comes in handy if you want to dry bulky items like comforters. We measure the dryer's drum volume to confirm the manufacturer's capacity claims. Look for a dryer that scored very good to excellent in our capacity ratings. These models can usually dry 20 to 28 pounds of laundry. We dry laundry typically found in your home, from large family size loads filled with towels and jeans to smaller loads with synthetics and dress shirts. We even dry delicates like brows and underwear to see how gentle a dryer can be. The best dryers can dry a 12-pound test load filled with towels, jeans, and shirts in about an hour, without overheating the fabrics. For that kind of performance, look for a dryer that scored excellent in our drying performance tests. If space is a real issue, compact dryers, stackable models, and laundry centers are all options. Compact dryers are usually 24 inches wide or less and can cost as little as $700 to about $2,000. Some can stack on top of a compact front-loading washer to save precious floor space. But these typically have half the capacity of regular-sized dryers, and some can take longer than full-size models to dry your clothes. Another choice, washer and dryer laundry centers. These start at about $1,000 and combine a dryer, usually on top, and a washer in one unit. Laundry centers generally perform as well as full-size machines, but they lack the capacity of a full-size dryer. There are also combination machines that wash and dry your clothes in a single tub. Prices start at around $900, but you can spend up to $2,000 depending on the features and brand you choose. Many compact models also offer ventless dryers, 
While traditional dryers pull in surrounding air and exhaust it outside through a vent, ventless dryers remove the moisture through a condensation or heat pump system and then vent the air into the room again. That's convenient if you live in an apartment or condo or if you don't have easy access to an outside wall near your laundry area. Most dryers come with standard features, such as timed and auto-dry cycles, heat levels, and settings for different fabrics like cotton and permanent press. In addition to those, Consumer Report says there's one feature you'll want, a moisture sensor. Our tests show it recognizes when a load is dry faster than a traditional dryer thermostat. That means less energy is used and your clothes aren't exposed to extra heat. But dryers with sensors are designed to handle full loads. If you only toss in a few items, the load may not touch the sensor enough and can cause the dryer to shut off too soon. So use the timer instead. And while the standard features and moisture sensor are usually more than enough, you'll see plenty more options on dryers. Here's what our experts have to say. Whether you choose dial or electronic controls comes down to a personal preference. Dials are quick and easy to use. Touch pads, buttons, and touch screens look sleek and can be more versatile, but not necessary when it comes to dryers. This dryer's door opens from the top or side for more flexibility, loading and unloading. If you can't get to your dry clothes when the cycle ends, there's a feature called extended tumble. It helps keep your clothes wrinkle-free by tumbling intermittently, without heat, some for as long as three hours. A drum rack attaches to the inside of the dryer and allows you to dry items without tumbling. Smart dryers let you start and stop cycles via an app on your smart device. A top-mounted filter, instead of the kind you pull out from the inside of the dryer, is slightly easier to access. Some filters even have a warning light that tells you when to clean it. This keeps your dryer running smoothly and reduces fire hazards. Blocked vents can also reduce efficiency and cause dryer fires. A vent blockage indicator is supposed to provide an alert or automatically stop the dryer if you've got a clogged vent. Keep in mind, our tests find many aren't good at detecting partially blocked vents, so it's a good idea to clean them periodically according to the manufacturer's instructions. Steam settings promise to reduce wrinkles and odors. Our tests found they can remove smells, but our shirts were still wrinkly. And unlike washers, stainless steel tubs don't offer any benefits in dryers, so feel free to skip them. Eco cycles are supposed to reduce a dryer's energy use, but our tests continue to show that the savings are minimal at best. Digital time displays show an estimate of how much time is left in a cycle, but our tests find dryers under or overestimate by up to 20 to 30%. Why? The dryers don't know what type of fabrics you're drying or how wet they are. No matter which features you choose, it's easy to keep even the most basic dryer running as efficiently and as safely as possible. Remember to always clean your filters and your vents and never overload your dryer. Now that you've got the basics, visit ConsumerReports.org to become a member and find our specific washer and dryer ratings based on our in-depth expert testing. We're a not-for-profit and we pay for all of the items we test. Thanks for your support.